Graduations delayed. No proms. No spring sports. Milestones were lost. It's been a hard year. We've suffered tremendous grief um, as a result of all the losses that we've experienced. And um, by no means have we all shared in one common pandemic experience. But I think it's safe to say that we've experienced grief and a lot of loss. Um, and when I think of school communities in particular, I think of um, the loss of human connection and the, that these are people-based places and that we um, don't get to share in our friendships and our rituals. We're right now at the anniversary of the beginning of this pandemic and anniversaries really matter. So we have students that, and all people having these experiences that live in our bodies of, wow, at this time last year, we, we got off school a week before spring break and we never went back. Teens feel the pain of these losses and as parents, we need to lift them up. Because I am a parent of a child that age and I think about um, just the refrain being, you're doing this, you're remarkable, you're upright, you persist every day, um, you're, you're building a strength and a skill set that you won't even be able to reflect upon for years. This is hard. It's unbelievable. You don't deserve this, right? I mean, we we would never wish this on anybody, but you're doing it. Like you're here and you're amazing leaning into where are the possibilities? Because there are a lot of doors that have closed, but where is that possible choice, possible decision? possible pathway forward. It just feels more than ever like a really important aspect of living. Yeah, and I think that as adults, we have to hold the hope for our children sometimes, for our students, for our children, for our families, and that hope is a roadmap. Our hopes and our visions are roadmaps, our dreams. And so how do we step into what's possible in moving ourselves forward in that direction? Where do you see us a year from now? Are we gonna be better people? I hope so. I hope that we will be um, in a place where we have, we have and can acknowledge the growth and the possibility and the changes, some real critical changes that we have been called to make and to leave some of the stuff that didn't work for us behind. I feel excited about it. I feel that we can never go back to the way it was. In many ways, we shouldn't, because I think this pandemic has really shed a light on some areas that we as you know, as a society need to grow um, and need to repair and need to dismantle and then build from there. Kim Christensen reporting there. Beth and Brooke have written a book called Teaching, Learning and Trauma, Responsive Practices for Holding Steady in Turbulent Times. And don't forget to join our village. Just find It Takes a Village on Facebook.